Well, happy Tuesday, everybody. Welcome to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome. My name is Liz, and you are watching the Heaven's Pearls June collaboration. Now, this collaboration is hosted by the Heaven's Pearls members, Tablescapes by Candy, Creations by Simone, the Grace Life DIY Home Decor, Debbie Bubbles, and myself, Decorating with Jazzy Green. Okay, first of all, discernment is the ability to choose between what is true and right and what is false and wrong. In Philippians chapter 1, verses 9 and 10, it says, And this is my prayer, that your love may abound more and more in knowledge and depth of insight, so that you may be able to discern what is best and may be pure and blameless for the day of Christ. Discernment isn't just a gift for certain believers. It is vital for every follower of Christ. Discernment is the ability to choose between what is true and right and what is false and wrong. In Philippians chapter 1, verses 9 and 10, it says, And this is my prayer, that your love may abound more and more in knowledge and depth of insight, so that you may be able to discern what is best and may be pure and blameless for the day of Christ. Discernment isn't just a gift for certain believers. It is vital for every follower of Christ. In a world where the enemy constantly attempts to blur the lines between good and evil, we need an understanding of how to distinguish between what is of God and what is not of God. There is much more to discernment than simply the function of the gift of discernment. Not everyone will have the gift of discernment. But spiritual discernment is for every believer. Just like your muscle, spiritual discernment is something that can be strengthened and developed. Personally, myself, I can operate in the gift of discernment. Uh, God has given me that gift um, specifically in certain areas where he will give me a word of knowledge um, regarding certain things. And it's normally confirmed when another person will say, well, you know what? God was just dealing with me with that. Thank you so much for letting me know because that's confirmation. And that hasn't always happened to me. <laughs> it's funny because my son will ask me, well, is there anything new today? <laughs> Has God told you anything? And it's just, I just think it's so funny the way he says that. I'm like, well, if there's something for me to share you know, with you, I will let you know. <laughs> but if not, then it's something, whatever God speaks to me about, I will keep to myself. Unless he says to say so, you know, I just keep quiet. So I just thought that was a little funny <laughs> the way he comes to me sometimes and asks. bit about the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Now, 
Now the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking one another, or envying one another. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing to my channel. It's free. Just click the subscribe button and set your bell to all so that you will be notified of all my videos and you won't miss any of them. Give this video a big thumbs up and I welcome you to the channel. Thank you to all my faithful Jazzy Green family members. You guys are wonderful. I love you all. Thank you all so much for watching and you guys have a blessed day and a terrific blessed Tuesday. Bye.